everyone. Welcome to Open. I'm Rina Valentin, aka Flo from Progressive with unicorns and glitter protecting your home. <laughs> We're inviting you to get social with us online. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at Bronxnet TV and like us on Facebook at Open Bronxnet Television. And of course, while you're there, follow me on Twitter, FB, Instagram, Insta Stories, and LinkedIn at Rina Valentin. So after a year-long hiatus, the New York City Village Halloween Parade is officially back in person. Yay! Yay. And New Yorkers get dressed up in their costumes and participate in the spooky fun activities. And this year's parade theme is Let's Play and All Together Now honoring the children of New York City and the child in all of us, uh, who yearn, of course, to play in the streets again. Joining us to tell us more, we welcome artistic and producing director, Jean Fleming, and voice actor, puppeteer, Sarah Hirsch. Hi, ladies. Hello. <laughs> I, I have no idea where the harmonica comes from. It doesn't even go with my costume. I, it, it's just a, a toy I can play with. I'm like, yay, we get to dress up. It's so, I'm so happy to have you here. We're happy to be here. <laughs> Very happy. Oh, well, I'm even more excited to share the news with our viewers how we're going from uh, what we had miniature last year into big life size full puppets, right? Yes, it's true. And if you remember last year, the Grand Marshal of the miniature parade was Pinocchio. And what was his wish? That this year we would be real boys and girls. And so <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, I also heard that um, there was a, you know, some iffy, some, some iffy moments of this parade actually being in person uh, due to some financial constraints. Yes, well, um, we got the permission from the city very, very late to do the parade, and we started to try to raise money. Uh, most sponsors had already spent their budgets. And we started a Kickstarter campaign, but it was kind of going a little slow. And then one day, all of a sudden, this magic person called me on the phone and said, I would like to make a substantial donation. And I proceeded to meet this amazingly sweet guy named Jason Feldman. And he said, how much do you need to make it happen? And I told him and he said, OK, uh, I'll do that. And he Yay, did. Jason. <laughs> Our hero. And, and, and as a result, all of New York gets to experience this. I mean, his generosity of spirit, his sweetness, his humbleness, his he was he's been in the parade since he was 14 years old. He's 54. And he just said, I can make a difference here. I can do something for my city. He's a sweet guy. That's wonderful. That's lovely. That, that, that's New York strong for you and full flesh. And so I see Sarah over there fidgeting <laughs> her helmet. It's, it's tough up here, yeah. <laughs> you're weightless, you know, and your helmet is moving around. My helmet moves around weightlessly, you know. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so Sarah, actually, this is a little downsized from what you're normally dressed up in. It certainly is. Last year, uh, so the parade was canceled and I started to build, uh, I have a, a lot of little props and things from old costumes like this banana peel and like a, a shark head, which I, I can't, well, it's really huge, but shark head, you know, this sort of thing. And so I figured, why not try and make these into like smaller costumes that people can wear? and enjoy. Um, and so I did that. And then uh, I didn't end up selling any of them, but I have them. And so uh, I know this is the Halloween episode. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to, you know, pay, pay it forward and be and be in costume with you guys. So uh, and, and, in, and in good time too, right? Because going into space seems to be uh, this year's theme. Everybody want, is traveling in space nowadays. Yes, exactly. I paid thousands of dollars and now I'm, we're, we're zooming from space. It's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. My I ship is all the way over here I landed, but you know, I'm still floating about. Is that a photograph or is that a hologram of, of where you are right now? <laughs> I chose a different background, you know, my, uh, my, um, my my fake background that makes me look legit even though i'm in space i'm in a i'm in a, a spaceship right now oh that is so clever that's such a great idea <laughs> <laughs> 
So, Gene, I understand that Randy Rainbow is the Grand Marshal this year. He certainly is. Um, yeah, I picked him. I too. love him. I love him too. And he's the sweetest guy too. And he, um, I picked him because all during all the hard times for all these years and years, he made me laugh over and over again. It was such a pleasure. I waited to see what he would do next. But also I picked him for his bravery. I felt that what he did was very, very brave. And I thought that's what Halloween is about. It's about bravery and humor and creativity. And Randy was the perfect person for that. Yeah, he definitely got me through the pandemic and all the other protests and everything else, which, you know, th that, that shall not be named. We know who we're talking about. Um. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he did. And he's going to be, uh, he's going to be premiering a song that he wrote called Pink Glasses. He it was written by him and Alan Menken. And he'll be singing that uh, during the parade, which will be fun because everyone knows his pink glasses. And uh, in fact, I should have a pair right here, but I don't think I do right at the moment. <laughs> Okay, well, they're just going to have to show up to see it and experience it. But, um, Sarah, uh, yeah. uh, you know, I know this is how you're coming in today because, you know, you're out there in space and you only have a box in which you can work with. But um, can you give us a little hint of what you're going to be dressed as this well, year? My costume is called the Magician's Assistant. I will leave it at that, but let's <laughs> say it's got a theatrical vibe to it, which I think also goes with Randy Rainbow. Um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fun. It's got, my costumes always have an element of, uh, well, often, not always, but often have an element of drama and an interactive element. And uh, there's definitely that. I mean, there's definitely that. Yeah, for sure. Well, I know we're going to be showing some images of, of your uh, your artwork. And um, what I find most fascinating is that, I mean, you're like a walking set, to be honest with you. A walking what? I'm sorry. I'm a walking, walking set. A walking yes, set. For sure. And I'll tell you, my costume is almost done this year. That's why I'm not showing you anything is because it's not done. And I don't like to reveal anything before it's done. But um, you know, I'm getting on in years, like not, I'm not super old, but like it's definitely like harder to like crawl on the floor and do all this. And I was like, wow, like, I don't think I can do them as big as I've been doing them. I'm going to, I think from going forward, I'm going to have to start sc scaling them down to the size of like the picture strip I did years back, like something more manageable like that. Yeah, I think you got spoiled from last year doing the miniature versions. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jean, what, is there anything different we should expect in this year's uh, Halloween uh, parade? Well, I think what's different is that we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, one of the things that's kind of interesting um, is that um, the miniature puppets are going to come to the parade. Oh, and, nice. But they're bringing their creators, their real boys and girls with them, which I think will be fun. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm turning off my phone um, <laughs> but anyway um, I think that in itself just getting to actually see the real people behind the puppets is kind of interesting um, it's remarkable to me I at, when we first started I thought no one was going to be in the parade the parade is bigger than ever there are more people coming more interesting ideas more interesting costumes than I've heard about in a long time I think that the pent-up energy the desire to be out, be together, um, experience what I'm learning is called collective effervescence, which is a kind of human experience that you only get from doing and playing together in open spaces. And that's what I think everyone is longing for. And that's what I see coming through as I talk to people about what they're planning to do. But all the music is there. I see this to, as a gathering of the tribe. You know, this strange reunion of strangers that come together and for a brief time make this amazing community of people that are like them and totally unlike them. 
kind of and, like the city itself. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. You just summed up exactly what New York City is. And I just want to thank you both for bringing it here to our viewers on Open. Sarah, I can't wait to see what you're going to be wearing, Sarah Hirsch. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Jean Fleming, of course, the artistic and producing director of the New York Village Halloween Day Parade and the 48th annual New York Village Halloween Parade is going to be taking place on Sunday, October 31st at 7 p.m. in person in, of course, New York's Greenwich Village on 6th Avenue between Spring Street and 16th Street. And uh, only people in costume are able to join the festivities. So make sure you get dressed up. It's playtime. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear how one author is sharing spooky fun stories through her books. Don't go anywhere. 